Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this bronze look right here. So if you're in a rush and you only have about 10, 15 minutes to get ready, this is perfect for you. This is also perfect for back to school if you want that nice bronzed natural look like you've been spending your whole summer at the beach then this is also for you it's perfect it's easy so if you want to achieve this look then keep on watching so i wanted to make a makeup tutorial for you guys just so if you're going back to school and you want a quick look and you want to look bronzed because you spent the whole summer on the beach this is a look for you it's really really fast and if you're a mom like me and you want to rush out of the house, you know, you don't got that much time to get ready, but you still want to look really good, but natural, not like completely over the top, then this look is for you also. Like this is my favorite go-to makeup look. Okay, so it's probably been about a minute. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my foundation and today I am using a sample I received in, I believe this is my Ipsy. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour full coverage foundation. And this is in the color medium sand. I just find this is the deepest, darkest foundation I have right now. See, like it matches pretty good. Whenever I fake tan, like this is my go-to foundation that I have at the moment. I hope you guys can see me good. Like this is my only my second makeup tutorial. Like this is my first full face makeup tutorial. Like the last tutorial I did was a uh, eyeshadow tutorial for the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I love that palette to this day. It's my favorite. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. Like yeah, like I said, this is like for fast. Like. I'm going to be a little more thorough, so it's going to be a little bit more slower. But once you get the hang of this, like this is really fast. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the color Light Sand. Go ahead and put this under my under eye. I'm like running out, so I actually pulled out the little plastic piece on the top and you can actually get deep down inside. So if you guys didn't know that, you should definitely do it. Use like tweezers, it's really helpful. <laughs> I do that with a lot of my beauty products actually. And you get like a lot of the product. I'm gonna put some of my, a little bit more around my nose, on my chin, and on my forehead. Go ahead and blend this out. I always look up to the sky to get underneath my under eye and I try not to go any further than right here. So when I'm blending it out I just kind of stop like right there. Like right here. And blend, blend, blend. Look up to the sky and then go around my nose. Do the other side. I'm going to do my chin. And what I like to do, just to make sure everything's really seamless, I like to, the edge, like you know how it's like a triangle right there that we did, I like to take my beauty blender and just go where, where the, it meets the foundation and just kind of like lightly tap, just to give it that airbrushed look so everything's very blended. And there's no like, oh look, like that's where she put her concealer, you know? Which is a mistake I made in the past. <laughs> and you always learn as you go, so. Gently tapping that out. Same with my chin, on the edges. Same thing with the forehead, just around the perimeter of where that highlighter is. Okay guys, what I like to do next is set my concealer just so we don't have any creasing. So what I use for that is, I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and this is in light to medium. And I usually go in with my shade Vanilla, but I don't have any more. And I have my banana, so I usually dip into the two. But since I don't have that, I go into the Laura Lee Cat's Pajama Palette. And she's got like a pretty good white color right there. So when I mix the two, 
and it's pretty brightening. So dip into the okie dokie, and then I'm gonna dip into the banana shade, and then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just look up and make sure that there's no creases right before I do this, and then look up and gently pat it. I, know, I feel like this is like a full-on tutorial like you guys never did makeup before or something <laughs> but I'm hoping like maybe you guys just learn like something from me that you didn't think of yourself so I don't know future tutorials I won't be this thorough but I don't know I'm just like <laughs> it's making me laugh because I'm like acting like you guys never did makeup before but these are just my like little secrets and tips and stuff like that and my chin so everywhere I, I highlighted, I go in with the banana powder and the okie dokie. Now I'm going to take my Tartus Pro Glow Contour Palette and I'm going to go into shade, this shade right here. And this is shade Backstage. It's like a real bronzy shade. I'm just going to dip into that shade and I'm going to just, in circular motion, just bronze out my cheekbones like here's my here's my cheekbones like I'm sure you guys can see the line I do luckily naturally have high cheekbones so I don't have to really go like that so just bronze out my cheeks like so and I always like do this so I get the apples of my cheeks that is something I have to do I don't have really have apple cheeks, or at least I don't think so. And then I do the same thing on my forehead. Just light circular motions, no need to go in heavy handed. Just bronze that out. Same thing on the other side. What I like to do next is I go into the shade that's right next to it, and it's a little deeper, and I go use the same brush and I dip into that. And I just want to like deepen that contour. So lightly, just go over that. Right under, like right where your cheekbone is, not over the whole thing. Deepen it up over here. And into my hairline because with everything you want to go a little bit into your hairline so it doesn't look like you're wearing a mask. Go ahead and do that on the other side. Okay, the next step I like to do is I go ahead and I go back into this palette and I take this first shade that I went into and I like to just dip into that and go over my whole eyelid with it just to give it that bronzy look. And this is acting as my shadow today. See, nice, quick and easy. I'm using like a pretty big brush. This is the, uh, I don't know the name, gosh, it's like rubbed off, but I got it from Ipsy. It's the tapered highlight brush. I'm sorry, I don't know the brand of it, but um, yeah. <laughs> I usually use this to like bronze up my face, but it's nice and big and it gets the color on there pretty fast. So I'm just bronzing up my eyelid. Okay, and the next step I'm gonna do is my eyebrows. So you wanna take a spoolie so it's nice and natural looking. And you wanna make sure that your pencil you're using is nice and sharp. See, it's got like a pretty good sharp tip. This is CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Fill and Define. And this is in the shade Rich Brown. Seriously, like really good for cheap. Like I love these and it even comes with a little sharpener. Actually, with two sharpeners, which is really cool and two pencils. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is just take my spoolie and just comb up my brows. This will help give them like a more natural look. Like you don't want like Instagram brows when you're doing like a nice natural look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill these in where they're sparse. Hopefully you guys can see. You get the point though. Two thousands were not good to me. <laughs> with me over plucking my brows, like I really overdid it. Like, oh my gosh, I had lines for eyebrows. So I got like little bald spots here and there. So I'm just like using a light hand. I'm trying to do like 
little hair like strokes especially in the beginning i like to do like vertical up strokes right there and like i said it's easy to do with a sharp pencil okay that looks pretty good to me and if one looks darker than the other i just like to take my spoolie and just lightly comb it out a little bit and this also like if you feel like they're a little too dark this will help make them look more natural too so okay the next thing i like to do is i like to take my hand comb black eyeliner and i like to line my upper waterline okay so the next step i like to do is dip into a like a blush shade a nice pretty light one nothing over the top so i got this in my boxy charm a lot of these items seriously you guys i got in my boxy charm so thank you boxy charm for letting me explore with makeup <laughs> because I get so much so okay this is the, in the shade Perioso I think it's called and this is the Colored Blush Trio and this is in Fair Light I'm going to use this brush today this is the Luxie 1010 Small Contour so I'm just going to go ahead and add some color to my cheeks my smile <laughs> to get that apple dip into that wipe off the excess and do the same thing on the other side that adds like even more color to your face okay and this part is optional if you don't want to wear mascara you don't have to so first thing I'm gonna do is curl my lashes and <laughs> you see this eyelash curler I've seriously had this for 14 years yeah <laughs> it's by Mary Kay and they discontinued this but seriously like this eyelash curler is freaking amazing as you can tell like I haven't had to get another one you know how with eyelash curlers like the little rubber part like it'll get like an indent in there and like just tear up this one hasn't done that and it curls my eyelashes amazing so this will go to the grave with me I love this eyelash curler okay so I'm gonna curl my eyelashes first and I like to go back again and do the other eye and then I like to do it twice on each eye so I just feel like it holds the curl better and like I said this is a personal preference if you don't want to use mascara for this you don't have to I'm going to go in with my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara isn't this little applicator so cute it's pink and sparkly it had like a little charm dangly charm thing on it but that was kind of annoying me so I took it off so I'm just going to take like a little bit of mascara and put it on like the edges of my eyelashes just to give it like a more natural look like nothing over the top right now that that's done I want to go ahead and contour my nose a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and go into my cover FX palette again from boxycharm and I'm going to go into the contour shade like you don't have to do this but I hate myself I hate my nose I got like a eyelash right there <laughs> I hate my nose so like this part this is a must for me and remember everybody's nose is different so the way I contour my nose might not work for you so if I mean if you have a nose like me mine's really thin up here and then it gets like kind of big at the bottom so this is what I do so I dip into my contour shade hopefully you guys can see and I like to just do like a little triangle like right in here let's see if I can just do it on this mirror right here I can go like this and then down and just kind of like blend that out and then take this and just kind of go up towards my like where my eyelashes are and connect them so I'm just creating a shadow right here so it kind of like hides the thickness because my nose like it's like this that wide <laughs> so I do that on the other side of course just do like a little triangle shape and I kind of stop where like my nostril is right here so it's like a triangle go up towards my brow bone 
Another thing I like to do, just to slim out the tip of my nose a little bit and just add like a little bronziness to it, like kind of like you were in the sun, is I like to take some and just like go around the perimeter of my nose like this. And like down here, just bronze that out. Okay, you guys. The next step that I do, and remember, like this seems like really thorough and like long, but when you do this all the time, like this goes by really fast. What I'm gonna do next is add a little highlight to my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back and use this brush. What I did, I just dusted it off into a washcloth, and I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this shade right here. It's like a bronzy highlight color. It's nothing over the top, and I'm just gonna go lightly and add some shine to my face. And I like to go like kind of like right near the arch of my eyebrow and down, and kind of go up my forehead. Same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna take that same brush I used to contour my nose, and I'm gonna pick up some of that highlighting shade that I was just using on the rest of my face and I'm going to just highlight the tip of my nose and I like to highlight like right in here and highlight my inner corner just to make you look even more awake. Like this is perfect for school because it's nice and natural but yet you still look nice and awake and refreshed like you just came back from summer vacation like I love that like coming back to school from summer vacation and being nice and bronze and like I was at the beach all summer so if you got pale skin like this will help <laughs> make it look like that's what you did especially if you if you fake tan like me okay uh, what I also like to do because a personal preference of mine you don't have to do this step but I like to take my bronzing a little bit further and I like to lightly go into that bronzing shade, this one right here. And I like to just lightly go underneath my jawline, just to kind of like give some depth in there. This also helps when you have a little extra weight to your face and bloat, it'll help kind of like chisel that out a little bit. I'm currently on my weight loss journey, trying to lose all my baby weight. I have like 40 something, 40 something pounds to lose. <laughs> Not to get to my baby weight, but to get to a healthy weight that I want to be at. And I know that sounds like a lot and you guys are probably like, you don't really look that big, but I'm like really small boned and this is like the heaviest I've ever been. So yeah, I like to just go under here. And I bring that down a little bit. What I also like to do is take a big brush like like this and I'll dip into both of those shades, the dark and these two. I like to dip into these two shades and bronze up my neck a little bit. Just so everything goes together. Okay, the last that for the face is setting it all just so it looks nice and matte and it looks together and nice and blurred so what I use is the Cody airspun powder and this is in the shade translucent extra coverage and seriously this lasts me a long long time too and you can get this at Walmart for like really really cheap I'm sure Ulta sells this also so I'm going to dip into that, I'm going to shake off the excess because I don't want to be too too powdery, so what I do is I like to buff that all over my skin, kind of blending everything together so it's seamless. Okay, and the last step is lips, of course, so I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. What color I like to use is Soar by MAC because it's like a natural color. It's like the closest to my natural lip color. Okay, now that I line my lips, I'm gonna go in 
with this Clinique. Isn't that cute? It's got like little sprinkles all over it. This is in the color OG Taffy Pink. And again, it's like a natural color pink. But I don't want to go in too, too heavy with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just gently tap it on my lips. Just to get it like a nice sheen color. Nothing over the top. Okay, you guys, that's it for my bronzed natural look. I hope you guys like this, and I hope it was easy to follow and you guys learned a thing or two. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. Mwah. And you can see that like little pimple right there. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's just like poking peeking out at me. <laughs> now I'm going to take my Tartiest, Tartiest Pro Glow uh, contour. Um, here, I'm just doing it just like, it's kind of hard doing it like that way. I like to just lift up my eyeball like this and throw it on like that. <laughs> it just adds a little something. The color I'm using is Sore by MAC and...